It's your boy, Hazen Boy Torts. We're checking in with Green TV in an exclusive interview. All right, man. So, what's up, man? Man, just chilling, chilling, trying to keep my head above the waters. So, uh, give us a little uh, background information on yourself, like where you're from, like where you're raised. Um, I'm from Boynton Beach. Uh, I was raised in San Castle, mostly all over Palm Beach County, really, but I'm from Boynton Beach. So, what was it like growing up in Boynton Beach? For somebody that's not from going to beach, um, it's a little bit of everything. It's you got snakes out there. You got the good side. You got the the hood. You got it's all it's a, it's, it's a whole bunch of everything, man. I feel like every city got its own hood. Every city got its own good place and stuff like that. So, so for somebody that's not from uh, going to beach, what are some of the things they can expect if they was to move from going to going to beach? As far as like the community, the type of people, um, it's a mixture of everything, you know, races. I say it's more blacks over there than anything. Well, the place that I grew up, I, yeah. I can't even, I can't talk about the good side or not good side. Let's just say the the suburbs or the you know middle class because I was really. Would you? Say, I don't even know how to like really yeah, explain, explain it. it like that. So would you say you had it hard growing up? Or was it easy? Uh, definitely, was it I did. Or, yeah. Both parents? Um, eight years old, my uh, my daddy was deported to Haiti. And um, after that, my mama had me. She had me at when she was like 13, 14. So really, she was a jit. So everything that she was doing, like, just because she had me, she thought she could still do it because she had her mom, my yeah. mama and stuff like that. But really, I was going through a lot of crazy stuff, really. We didn't even... I, I'm honestly, it's the best Christmas I'm about to have, you know what I'm saying? Since like, I really ain't never had nothing for none of my Christmas. Yeah. Like, real shit. Wow. Like, G shit. Feel me? Like, that's how I was for her. So, mm. So, how did that situation, like, your, your dad leaving, deporting your, your mom being so young, affected, affected the person you are today? Because you were definitely the bird one. Yeah. And so, it's like, kind of affected. Like, yeah, it yeah. affected a lot, a lot. And he was way older than my mama too, like maybe like I'd say like eight years older than me for me. So he had a, a better head, you know what I'm saying? A stronger mind. So when he left everything just like kinda crumbled. She was everywhere. You know, we was jumping from family to family and stuff yeah. like that. So what would you say the craziest thing you put your mom through? Um craziest thing I put my mom through, um, I was getting, oh, what do they call that? I could just say, scaring her, thinking that, I, that I'll lose my life, basically. I'm going to say that. Like being in the streets and stuff like that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just losing my life. Like, just her thinking, thinking like, that, fearing yeah. that. Like, yeah. always having that unconscious. I feel like that's the biggest thing, because, like, I got two kids, too, so yeah. I know how that feel now, using empathy and stuff, you feel me? You say you was a uh, Haitian. Yeah. So what was it like growing up as a Haitian? Um, really. Sometimes people would believe me that I was Haitian. Some people, sometimes they didn't. But yeah. the people that knew I was Haitian, you know, they had a little joke sometime here and there. It wasn't that bad for me. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. But you know, they picked on me because I was Haitian until that wave came through. You feel me? Yeah. But the people that didn't know I was Haitian, they didn't really say too much about me. I mean, they really thought I was just lying or something like that, but that's what it is. And what's it, like, versus, like, back then, what are some of the things now as far as, like, being a Haitian? Um, like, the difference from back then to now? You you mean how do I feel about it now around or just yeah. me personally? Like, me, like you personally? Like, um, like me, overall? Excuse me. Um, me personally, I feel like I just got stronger and stronger in my, my pride with it, like, you know, embracing it, you feel me, where we come from. Because growing up, when I was around real Haitians, because I, I was around my family too. Yeah. So when I was around real Haitians that's not my family, they'll be like real hard on me because I wasn't, I didn't know how to speak Creole like they did, you feel me? So I really just got deeper to everything. Like I know 
far back from a lot of stuff in my history with it, you feel me? So it's like, I know where I come from, I know what I am, you know what I'm saying? Now I know how to speak Creole, you know, yeah. but it ain't that fluent. So what's the craziest experience growing up playing the Haitian? Like, because you were the Haitian, that situation happened? Um, I remember really being in Dade County and stuff like that, like, I had a lot of pressure going on in Dade County. Yeah. Yeah. Just because I said I was Haitian or I was I was around Zoos and I you feel me, they knew I was a Zoo. Yeah. Not because I never got in a like physical altercation by them like how a lot of my uncles was. You feel me? They used to get like jumped and stuff. If yeah. they was like walking walking in the streets by themselves, they'll be getting jumped and stuff like that on Fridays and stuff like that, you feel me? So wow. So uh, what's your uh, most memorable day? Like growing up in Boynton, would you say? Memorable? Um, moving out of it. Like moving out, of, like away from, what did you uh, move to? Um, just moving out of, out of it, period. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What about your, uh, what's your most craziest experience? Like being in Boynton, well, staying in Boynton. Crazy experience. Or most, what about you? What about the, how can I say, the most memorable date you remember? It's kind of, it's kind of true because like you can say memorable and then you can, it wouldn't be something as in like, like dangerous. Okay. So I don't know what. It can be one of the most, the, the most, the mo the day of your life that affected you the most, like made you the person you are today. Um, Whatever they affect you the most. Can be good, bad, sad, or um Well I can just say this. My most memorable time of living there, my grandma um got in a serious situation because of me. Um like got to deal with other people in the streets and stuff like that. You know, like invading in her, in her like home and stuff like that. You ever been uh, incarcerated? Yeah. How many times would you say, like, total? Um, I can't say arrest, because yeah. I've been arrested a lot of times, but doing time, I did time once, like a real big, yeah. like a year and a half, but, um, other than that, I was just like in county for a month or two, yeah. bond out, go back, you know. So that's a lot of times, really. I can't yeah. really count that, but actually doing the, doing time was one time. No, that man. was from 2014 to 2016. Is it still like an open case or? No, it's not an open case or nothing like that. You feel me? I finished everything, my yeah. probation, and I picked up more stuff, but from that, it's, it's closed. Okay, so that long, that time you was in, what was the reason? What was the charge you was being uh, charged um, with? Possessing a firearm, burglaries, couple counts of burglaries, and um, possession of marijuana. And yeah. what would you say the most craziest experience while being in jail? Hmm. Crazy experience. Is being able to do whatever you want to do in there. Yeah. Having that power to do whatever you want to do in there. What's the biggest misconception about jail that's uh, like something that's people always say that's true, but it's not true when you actually get um, there? Like somebody checking you all the time and stuff yeah, like, like that. Yeah, like you're from and all that type of stuff. Yeah, it don't go like uh -huh. that. No. It'd be the biggest mouth. People with the biggest mouth and like that's the ones that always in stuff. That's the people we like. Like, you feel me? We step down to. But if you just chilling, because me, I'm a, I'd be chilling and stuff. Yeah. So everybody fuck with me because I'd be vibing and shit. And uh, when did the uh, music come about? Um, when I was in them, I was writing down and stuff like that. I I really was doing my little thing out here. Not serious. I never recorded nothing like that. But like everybody was freestyle and stuff like that. Um, when I got out, when I got out of jail, doing my time, that's when I like was like, okay, let me try so some taking music. It serious. I ain't take it serious, serious like I'm doing it now. Yeah. But 
I was just dropping music, and I'm like, dang, I'm fine. Like, we're good at it. So I kept, and I like music all my life, but I never tried to rap. You feel me? I was, my mom was around a whole bunch of like producers mm -hmm. and stuff like that. She was even a young, like, female MC or whatever, but she put that to her side. But that's where I got it from. You feel me? I used to take her books, look at it, and like, anything that was like a girl way of she rapping, I would yeah. make it a guy way. You feel me? I'd be like, rapping it to myself. And I just started making my own lyrics. And uh, who was your uh, inspiration? Like being, was it like a, because of the your mom situation, or was it an artist, or what? What what was like the most thing that inspired you to start making music? Would you say? I don't know. It just come from the heart. Like it just, I can't really say what inspired me. It's just something that always was with me. You know what I'm saying? I always had a passion for it. So. Maybe, maybe my environment, you know, like just being around it so much that it's just like, it just inspired me like, damn, you feel yeah. me? What makes you different from other artists in Palm Beach County, would you say? Um, if I don't got it, I ain't gonna act like I got it, you know? Uh, I'm a type, I'm a like reality type person, like, this is what it is, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, and I'm trying to get to a certain place. So I'm not going to deceive my people trying to act like I'm something already where I'm trying to get to, but I'm putting on that image like I'm there already. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like I stand out different because I just keep it blunt, you know, keep it regular. Uh, and my music-wise, if we talk about music-wise, yeah, music um, just keep it blunt and um, like just straight up how it is, you feel me? Like, even when I'm down, all that type of stuff. Like. Yeah. And uh, how do you feel about the Palm Beach County, like, Ruthless scene? If you had the... Right now, like, it's doing... Opinion on it? Right now, they, they... We expanding, though. I like that, though. But we still not connected. Like, everybody not trying to... Work together. You know what I mean? Like, an Atlanta type thing. You feel me? Because, you know what? If you look at Atlanta, they all, like, really... They all really help with it. They, it's not like they putting each other on, but it's like... They got each other, so it's like, okay, boom, boom, you feel me? And everybody just end up flourishing. You know? Okay, okay. And uh, what are some of the things you accomplish as an artist, would you say? That I want to accomplish? That you have accomplished, like in the past year, would you say? Um, get better with my delivery. You know? Um, be able to like be able to like look at an average person how they just want to rap and yeah. like dissect it and try to make it be a little different. I'm still giving the same concept, but it's just like you can tell it's a, it's that person, just him. You know what I mean? I get what you're saying. And if you had to label your style of rap to any artist, what would it be? Who would it be? I can just say it is though. How I start, how, where, I, where my flow come from, I listen to a lot of like Kevin Gates and I listen to Tweezy. Yeah. You feel me? Because growing up in Palm Beach County, PC Tweezy always start, he, he came out snapping. You feel me? Yeah. So I listen to him and Kevin Gates, so I kind of give it a little emotion, but I'm snapping to it at the same time. So, but it's kind of tricky, so I can't really answer that. So, uh, what's next for you as an artist? Um. Visuals. 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 I feel like um, I got to show the people the image of like who I am, not yeah. just making music. They got to see. Yeah.